Good afternoon. The newest information on Erica is in, and you can see it's still spinning right here across the Lesser Antilles, about 160 miles west of Guadalupe. It's still spinning, so we're still seeing that area of circulation as it continues to trek very quickly towards the west and uh, northwest eventually later today as we go through the next coming days. So let's go to the other weather computer, show you the latest track again. West northwesterly turn is expected later on this afternoon. Later on, let's say after around 6, maybe to around 10 o'clock, still holding on to winds of around 45 to 50 miles per hour. It's in this general vicinity that it has a, a little bit of wind shear going against it. So we're not expecting Erica to really intensify quickly as we go through tonight, especially as we head through Friday. The critical time frame is going to be Friday night into early Saturday, where Erica will eventually sneak in towards portions of the Bahamas, back through where water temperatures are close to 90 degrees. So that's fuel to get Erica a little more intense. And there's also a little less wind shear in this area again. So late Friday into Saturday, is when we do expect Eric to strengthen just a little bit. And then as we go through Sunday into Monday, this is where all eyes are going to be here across South Florida. As we go through Monday into Tuesday, we could see a potential Category 1 storm just right off our coast as we go through early Monday morning, lasting through Monday afternoon into Monday evening. So with that being said, let me show you another model just to kind of prepare you what we could potentially see as far as wind speeds are concerned as we go through Sunday and all the way into Monday. So these wind speeds, you can see the legend right here, 20, 30, 40, and 50 mile per hour winds in the deepest pinks and purples. And this is Sunday afternoon, so you get see it starts to get a little bit breezy as we head through Sunday evening. We fast forward through time. This is early Monday morning. Widespread winds of 40 to 50 mile per hour here across the Treasure Coast in the Palm Beaches. And even as we head through Monday night, we're still dealing with tropical storm force winds and really doesn't start to move out of the way it looks like until early Tuesday. So kind of recapping the newest information on Erica. Max winds at 45 miles per hour moving towards the west at 16. Intensity, it's expected to stay the same over the next 24 hours. The big changes again, we're looking for that curve towards the northwest later on today, and then we really have to pay attention to what happens as we go through the weekend as well. Of course, we're here to walk you through it. We're here to uh, keep you up-to-date up to information all on our website on WPBF.com, our mobile apps, and of course, we'll have another update in just about an hour.